Mitch Reviews. Mitch Reviews. Mitch Reviews. Hello! Evolution Power Tools of the UK have offered a prize for my toolmate competition this year. It's one of their 210mm tungsten carbide tipped multi-purpose compound mitre saws, uh, the F210CMS. That's in return for me doing a review on it. And uh, I've reviewed a few of their products before, so they know full well that I tell it as I find it. So they must be reasonably confident. Now I've tried it out on a number of materials, as you can see. A lot of the things that you might have around the house. Bits of baseboard, um, architrave, quadrant, a little bit of plastic trimming for uh, window frames, etc. Uh, plastic trunking and copper pipe. And all I can say is it's performed incredibly well. Out of the box, the accuracy of all the mitre stops, uh, the plumb, the fence, etc. were very good indeed and uh, only very minor adjustment needed to be made. I found the cut quality to be extremely good on all the materials as hopefully you can see from the pictures. The only problem I found was trying to cut some of the decking that I had which was five and a half inch decking and it just couldn't quite manage it with its capacity. The saw comes equipped with a multi-purpose blade and as with all of Evolution's multi-purpose blades it copes with metals without any problem at all. The saw rotates quite easily from 50 degrees one side of 90 to 50 degrees the other side of 90 and there are plenty of indexing stops along the way. The saw can be tilted to the left by up to 45 degrees for bevel and compound cuts. There is no coarse adjustment on the hold down but it does work effectively and it can be used on the right hand side of the blade when you're making bevel cuts. And the only drawbacks that I found were the noise and the dust extraction. I thought I'd get my mate to try it out. He has no experience of circular saws, mitre saws, or things like that. And he wanted some help with some fencing. Yeah, yeah any injury you can get will just increase the rating. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. A finger, then you'll get some lively cash as well. <laughs> <laughs> can you hold that? I mean, so no, you don't use your... Yeah, just hold the board on the outside of that clamp. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So that goes in. Push that in. Yeah. The manual seems to be written nice and clearly and I think any novice could pretty much cope with it. It certainly worked for this one. So here's what I thought of it. Good portability, ease of use, accuracy and cut quality. Build quality looks good too. Is a little bit noisy and the dust extraction could certainly be a lot better. Copes really well with most of the trim jobs around the house and is easy to store and transport, but you'll definitely need ear defenders and a face mask. If you'd like to donate a prize to Toolmake17, or if you've got a tool you'd like reviewing, please get in touch. Cheerio!